after the Minamoto's stirring and daring victory at Ichinotani, the Taira were pushed even further west and south along Honshu, Japan's main island. And even their bases on the island of Shikoku came under attack as Yoshitsune, despite vastly inferior naval expertise and power, managed to get across and attack the Taira bases there. And so a decision was made by the Taira leaders, a fateful decision, to evacuate en masse to the Taira strongholds on the southern island of Kyushu. But as they evacuated across the Straits of Shimonoseki, Yoshitsune made another daring attack. And in the Straits of Shimonoseki, at a cove called Dan no Ura, the sea dogs of the Taira, trying to get across to their bases in Kyushu, and the pursuing landlubbers of the Minamoto trying to stop them. A battle would ensue on the waves, which would turn out to mark the end of this struggle for dominance between the two clans. Tyra attacked with the tide in the morning and dominated the early stages, but would not be able to press home the advantage. In the afternoon came two big changes, the direction of the tide and the tactics of the Minamoto, whose commanders ordered their warriors to direct their arrows at the Tyra oarsmen and pilots. These two factors combined with the fleeing and even in some cases the defection of Taira and their allies won the day for the Minamoto and Yoshitsune, who killed or captured most of the Heike, while the remnants either fled as best they could or threw themselves into the sea, as the boy emperor Antoku did. So many Taira were lost or put to flight after this disaster at Dannaura, that the war now was effectively over. Once and for all, the Minamoto clan had rid Japan of the Taira. The swallowtail butterfly was the symbol of the Taira family and the Heike clan who held an iron grip on Japan in the 12th century. Now, while many of the Heike warriors died at the Battle of Dannaura and sank to the bottom of the sea, not all the Heike were killed some who survived were taken as prisoners of war to Kamakura by Yoshitsune. But others managed to escape. And others still were not there at their clan's final fateful battle. What happened to them? The historical record doesn't have much, if anything, to say about their ultimate fate. Japanese folklore says that butterflies are the souls of bygone samurai. In the case of the Taira, after their final defeat at Dan no Ura, 
the warriors who did survive did indeed take flight to deep remote valleys beyond the mountainous spine of Japan and out of the pages of history. Some of the Taira women survived, falling upon very hard times. It was they and local fisher folk who built the Akama Shrine to mourn and commemorate the lost emperor, nobles and warriors of their now extinguished clan. Surviving leaders of the Heike, the Lord Munimori, Tokitada and others were rounded up by Yoshitsune and marched off to Kamakura where if Yoshitsune thought only the Taira generals would be facing their ultimate doom, he was about to receive an unpleasant surprise. <laughs>